Hello, my name is Leanne. And I'm Amanda. And we're from the Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois. We are here today to share an engineering activity as part of our Playful Learning at Home series. Are we ready to get started? Now, when I say engineer, what do you think of? You think of building, you think of design, right? Right? What, would, what materials do we usually use to build buildings? What do engineers use to build buildings? Maybe wood, brick, brick, steel, concrete. We're not gonna use any of those today. We're gonna use materials that you have in your own house, simply paper, tape, and some books, okay? Are you ready to get started? Are you ready to get started, Amanda? Let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is create cylinders out of a piece of paper and then tape them secure. So you wanna roll it long ways, okay? I like to say hot dog shape. So you're gonna roll the cylinder and you wanna to try to keep the ends even if you can, because you want this to be as sturdy as possible. <laughs> so here, Amanda. Tape it in three different places. And you can do this with just regular printer paper, it doesn't have to be cardstock or any kind, any kind of paper, even newspaper, even newspaper. Okay. So now I'm going to take two cylinders that I already made and we're going to use them as a base. So you go ahead and set one and I'll set one. You can do it with one cylinder, you can do it with two or three, as many as you want. So. Do you think these paper cylinders, by the way, Amanda, did you know that the cylinder is the strongest geometrical shape in terms of building? So buildings that have foundations that are cylindrical shaped are going to be, with, are going to be stronger. They're going to withstand storms better. They're going to withstand high winds better. Okay, so that's the reason for the, for the, for the cylinder. Um, it distributes the weight of whatever's on top of the foundation instead of just laying on one point. So, Amanda, why don't you go ahead and let's see if these paper cylinders will hold that heavy book. Nice. Do you think it can hold another book? Let's try it. Let's try it. Now, when you place your books down, you want to do it from the top very slowly and gently. And, yeah. The challenge in this engineering challenge is to see how many books you can stack on top of your paper cylinder or cylinders. There we go. How many do we have so far? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So this will be our fifth book. Go for it, Amanda. Nice. All right, we have five. Should we go for six? How about we try for ten? Ten. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Can we readjust? <gasps> Look at that. Got nine. And, and what's your prediction? I think you can do it. You've got the magic it? touch. 10. I am challenging you to build a second story to your tower using another cylinder. Do you think I can put a book on top? Do you think it's going to work? I think you can do it. All right, here we go. Whoa. There we go. And you can keep building. Um, you can build up to the ceiling if you want, okay? But Ask your parents or your adult in the house if you decide to stand on a chair, okay? So be careful with these towers. Um, so that's it for today. Again, easy any, anything that you build, anything that you design is called engineering. And today we simply built towers and designed towers using paper cylinders and books. So thank you for joining us today. And you can find the resources for this activity um, on the Playful Learning at Home website. If you build a tall tower with books and 
um, paper tubes, please let us know, hashtag Discovery Center Science, so that we can um, see your towers, and good luck. Thanks for playing today. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities, or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.